Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Notebook Games Room. Hello, and welcome back. We are here once again <laughs> with Tales of Zillia. Yes. Finally making some progress here. All right, follow Mila. It is okay. Now, oh. <laughs> And walk right into a fight. I didn't walk right into it. There was a guy lurking outside the door. That's not entirely fair. No, but nothing ever is. Alright, we're gonna have to pardon me for just a moment. I'm gonna leave Athena on her own. <laughs> fair enough. I will try to get these guys done as quickly as possible so we can move on here. Ugh. I've been spoiled the last couple times Let I've played this. Onward. I'm not used to such weak starting weapons anymore. I should probably get used to that again. <clears throat> Alright, so it says follow Mila for obvious reasons, but first there's a couple chests and stuff I want to try to get. We can't even see Mila. How are we supposed to follow her? Yes, well, <laughs> the story likes contradicting itself at times. Die! Alright. You, buddy. Kindly. And Mila. Ow! <laughs> oh, come on, dear. These guys shouldn't be giving you a problem. You shouldn't be saying ow. They're not giving me a problem, per se. <laughs> I'm going to do this, though. Not yet! <sighs> they take so long to die. Of course they do. I'll be so happy when I get my next upgraded weapons. It won't be so annoying. Apple gels are a good thing. Orange gels are a good thing. Oh, that reminds me. Strategy. I do not have my auto items yet. Okay, fair enough. <clears throat> You'll have to excuse me if I keep clearing my throat. I seem to have a problem with it today. I don't know if I'm getting sick or if it's just being stubborn due to the massive change in weather. <sighs> really? <laughs> you can blame it on the supper you just had. No. It's not that. I've been doing not this all yet. night, even at work. Not yet. Really? Come here. Not yet. Oh yeah, that's fair. Let us move onward. <sighs> Alright, now can I make some progress here? <laughs> that's not running into enemies everywhere. The game might let you make a little progress. All right, let's Do see. we even know where we're going? Uh, Ooh, yeah. Shiny. There's the shiny. Also, yes, I do happen to know where I'm going. Okay, good, because I have absolutely I'm no clue. Pretty tired here. Are we even going the right way? I've barely played this one at all. I should be going in the right direction. There's there's only a few limited areas where I can actually go, so... Yeah. So just to let you know, ladies and gentlemen, we do have full plans on making our way once we finish this game, however long it takes Athena, to uh, Tales of Zillia 2. Or maybe we'll break it up and do one of the other Tales games. The other tale games should be interesting due to the fact oh, that I haven't played through any of the uh, any of the others just yet. So Yes, interesting indeed. Should be all in good fun though. And cue cutscene. What is that? One hell of a cannon. A Sparrow's <laughs> weapon. I knew it. A kind of a cannon. I can make a potty joke right now, but I'll hold my tongue. Smart man. The Lance of Kresnik? That's the name of the sage from the Genesis Age. 
Huh? What are you doing? Hmm. So this is what humans call irony. Naming this weapon after Kresnik. Listen up. We must destroy that which harms man and spirit. Those we are the four see great, great, spirits. Spirits. great spirits now. So that really makes her Maxwell? Shit's getting real. Obviously, things are not going to go as planned here? this early in the game. You are really and it's not really a spoiler, considering angry. that, you know, you already called her Agria, that she's going to get in the way. Yeah. Because if it hadn't have been for that little slip of the tongue, we wouldn't have found out for about another three or four hours. Easily. What the heck's going on? Oh, are you insane? Don't you know this is going to drain you too? <laughs> You're suffering. It's... it's worth it! It's acting directly on her mana lobes. This wasn't part of the plan. But it's nothing I can't deal with. Are you gonna try and stop it? Do you know what you're doing? That's it. No. Mila! Look down! Huh? Stop! Or you'll be dragged in with it! You know, it's just trying to completely suck them dry. Yeah! Same thing that happened to Dr. House. The four spirits? Wait. Take Mila. And then run? Huh? What? What are you trying to do? Sacrifice for a noble cause. Oh, sacrifice to keep Mila safe. Yes. And to shut the machine down. And things get a little bit hairy. Just a little bit. Anyone up for a dive? There's another character that we'll be getting very, very shortly. Don't give this one away. I'm not going to. I will say he's one of my favorites. Alright, and that finishes the prologue, so we are going Don't to- Don't skip this. Okay. I will leave it run. <laughs> I really do love the graphics of this game. Yes. Especially of the actual uh, animated cutscenes like this. Any game that actually puts time and effort into it, whether it be live action cutscenes or animated cutscenes, especially where this is anime style, mm, can't get enough of it. I wish that somebody would make a game that looked like this when you were fighting. That would take a lot of work. I'd like to turn an anime into a video game and actually have it stay so that the entire game would just all anime. Again, that would be an awful lot of work. 
could be awesome. That's a lot of work. Oh, we're probably another five or ten years away from that uh, advancement yet. <laughs> But thanks to new game standards, we're getting there. <laughs> Slowly. Alright, so that was the beginning. And what a powerful opening. I love that song. <sighs> and here we are again. Are you okay? Guess swimming isn't one of your powers, huh? <clears throat> it's not as easy as Undine makes it look. So you really have lost the power of the four great spirits. What are you going to do now? Pout? <laughs> There's no way you could destroy that device without their power. You have a point. Perhaps if I were to return to Nia Kara. Listen, you've been a great help, Jude. Thank you. You should go home now. He's not going to do that. Well, actually, I think he was kind of inclined to do that, but uh, we kind of run into a small problem. Small? Mila! How foolish, Jude. You should have gone home like I asked. You in cahoots with her? He barely came up the stairs. How was he supposed to get home? <laughs> and as you can see, Mila is what? all kinds of Haven't useless right now. Have you ever a sword before? Of course. But I always relied on the Four's power to guide my arm. It feels quite different without their help. Yeah, you're a total Come without their power. Or else. I can't believe I'm doing this! Right. So this is going to make the fight a little bit more interesting now, because Mila is not going to be as overpowered. Yeah, Mila is no longer OP. No, which is great. Which is actually one thing that really bugged me about her storyline. Starting OP and then getting it all taken away from you. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yay. Level up. Yeah. That was up, bad. baby. And I believe Mila leveled up already, too. But we can wait until we get to the next area to do that, I think. What's gotten into me? You saved me again, Jude. Thank you. Listen, you'd better get out of Fenmont while you can. Right. You have my gratitude. The city entrance is always crawling with police. You'd be safer heading to the Sea Haven. Hmm, the Sea Haven. She doesn't know the way. I believe she came overland with the four. Between that you and probably don't flying know where with Sylph. Do you? This way. All right. First things first. I'm sorry. One to day. Put you in He's going through medics. Med the the. Medical school. Yes, and the next day. He's fighting. Oh, what are kids these days? <laughs> Troublemakers. It's okay. Right. Besides, I still owe you for saving me. I'll show you to the Sea Haven. All right, the and we have a quick is skit. On the opposite side of the city from here. We need to go towards the central plaza first. We can only get to the Sea Haven via the path that leads to Tallinn yes, Medical dude. School. Thank you. Skit. <laughs> You seem to know your way around a fight. Yeah, I studied self-defense when I was a kid. They say that even the best trained soldiers may panic in the face of actual combat. Yet you seem completely together. Well, I had a friend I trained with who used to shout <laughs> sparring time and attack me out of the blue. So it's probably thanks to her. I see. I'd always wind up on the ground covered in bruises. I'm sorry to dredge up such painful memories. What? No, it's not like that. Don't all bullied children say that? Bullied? That's not what- <laughs> Wait. Uh, oh, it? Jude. Poor, poor Jude. Maybe he was bullied. Well, considering his friend. Yes. Um, <laughs> but we know too much. Yes. 
we, see, we won't we won't get to that for a little while yet. See, that's the problem with playing games that you know so well. After crossing and the central plaza, turn right at the first corner. At least one person has already played and beaten like be five times. Like it, it's a it's a little hard to you know not spoil things. I've only beat it three times. <laughs> I wasn't that much of an over-exaggeration. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, another cutscene and introduction of a new character. You two! Stop right there! Uh-huh. What's going on? Doctor. <laughs> Doctor Jude? From a medical school. Mr. Eldon? Is that you? Wh what's going on here? I can't believe you are the one we're looking for. Jude Mathis, I have a warrant for your arrest. There's one for her, too. I'm authorized to use force if necessary. But I don't want to hurt you. But wait, just hold on a minute! We may have done a little breaking and entering, but that hardly makes us public enemy number one. A little one. breaking and entering? Yeah. A, a little might be a bit of an understatement. So much for that. It looks like they're not listening. Mr. Eldon! I'm sorry. But I'm afraid I have my orders. Jude, I can't let them capture me. I have to resist. Then we'll do it the hard way. Three, Go two, on, one. And... Well, one explosion. Okay, nope. My timing was off. This is goodbye, Jude. Forgive me for all of no, this. No! Not goodbye! Think your next move over carefully, Doc. The more trouble you give us, the harder your sentence. It's just that... I just wanted to... There he is. Well, aren't these military types brave? Protecting the world from pipsqueaks like you. Uh, who are you? Save the chit chat for later. Your lovely lady friend's about to set sail, you know. Wait, but I... Listen close, kid. The military issued your warrant, and with the Military Powers Act invoked, you are an ex-marked criminal. If they catch you, you'll face execution. What? Execution? Oh, poor Jude. Time yep. to run! No. Uh, and get, you know, manhandled like a sack of flour. Not executed. I hope you're sturdier than you look. <sighs> Crash. Yep. What's going on here? The military's doing drills or something on shore. We were just getting out of their way. Come on, do you really think a pipsqueak, a pretty girl, and a dashing man like me would be up to no good? <laughs> of course. Um. It's Alvin. Huh? That's my name. You said that you're Jude, right? Uh. Yes, sir. And this is Mila. Hang in there, kid. Alvin is honestly one of my favorite characters, but he is quite complex. Uh, to put it mildly. Yes. So, quite complex. due to the opening and... everything else uh we are going to get to our next stop and then probably stop it there for this episode yes and then we will pick it back up uh with a little bit more storyline and everything else that captain needs to lay off a bit is he planning to grill us the entire voyage of course <laughs> what do you expect we don't have any sort of identification speak for yourselves <sighs> Poor, forlorn little genius. I can't believe we're heading to Ajul. 
Look, we're leaving Fenmont's spirit climb. I always like that fade out. Yes, that is a really nice fade. You said you're a med student. <laughs> Didn't expect that. Hey, can I ask you something? Why did you save us? What's in it for you? <laughs> well, oh. cash, of course. How does saving us make you money? Simple. I figure you must be in serious trouble if the military's after you. Now that I've swung to your rescue and impressed you with my daring do, I can charge you for my services. Uh. Charge us what? I'm nearly broke. Same goes for me, I'm Oh, afraid. poor Alvin. Seriously? I take more than just cash, you know. Don't you have any precious metals? Jewels? Rich relatives about to croak? <laughs> Nothing on me. None of the above. Everything happens so fast. I doubt I have anything that would sell for a high Yay price. Yay for charity either. work, Alvin. What exactly do you do, Alvin? You look like a soldier, but you sure don't act. He's like a stripper. <laughs> <laughs> You're on the right track, kid. I'm a mercenary. It's better than being a soldier. We don't have to follow orders. We set our own hours, and we help people for a price. Well, it would seem like you helped us for free. Ah, uh, well, it's a risk of the trade. Maybe I'll find some paying customers in Anjou. Sorry about that. Charity work. Wonderful. <sighs> Are we there Don't make yet? me turn this car around. Uh. <sighs> you get used to it. He's probably he's partially your com a comedic relief when it comes to like sarcastic answers uh there's pure comedy at times too though yes and with oh we're not done it yet just about <laughs> i was jumping the gun a little <laughs> just a tad welcome to our jewel Namely, a Lottie Sea Haven. Yes. It's hard to believe we're in a whole different country. Although it feels just like home. Hmm? Well, this part of Ajul is hardly what I'd call exotic. Huh. Hey, there's a map. Let me check it out for a bit. I forgot how long this part was. My apologies for having such a long cu cutscene. Brave kid. Oh, not a He plays it cool. Decided to make the best of it, has he? He's not as immature as he looks. Would it kill you to show a little concern? I mean, you dragged him into this, right? He insisted on helping me. I told him again and again to go home, but he wouldn't listen. He's here of his own accord. <laughs> I see. He believes he got himself into this mess, so now he has to put on a brave face. Either way, he's still acting like an adult. North of here. Hmm. So? You leaving now? No. Alvin, you must be well versed with a sword. Mercenaries like you must have some battle chops. Well, yeah, of course. Could you teach me how to use one? I don't have the four to back me up anymore. If I can't wield a sword, what's left? Your good looks? The four? Not sure I follow. But I'd be more than happy to teach you. If only you had some cash. So you won't help? Here, how about we make some moolah while I train you? What do you mean? Well, there's got to be some paying customers here in the Sea Haven. And right? a stripper pole? Let's take a look around. <laughs> Enough with the stripper pole, even though Alvin could pull it off. Because it's Alvin. I was talking about Mila. Yeah, no. Have you seen the Bazungas? I have well seen them, but she's way too stock for that. <laughs> um, so this is actually what cues our um, actual sub-event list, minus the two minor ones that I did back in Fenmont. Um, so as you see, any time that you see me approaching a character with an exclam exclamation point above their head is when we'll be going into a sub-event. Yes, and with that... Now, we are going to leave her here. Uh, 
and uh, we'll pick right back up where we left off in the next episode. Yeah, so leave a comment, like, like subscribe, share, all that good stuff. Um, where this is, we're only doing short episodes as well, so if you want to see longer episodes where this is going to be a fairly lengthy playthrough, please let us know. We can arrange it, we can work something out, um, things like that. Other than that, we will see you in the next episode. And this is Nodwick. And Athena. Signing out. We will see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.